statistics, Burkina Faso, Gambia, Nigeria. And we also, uh, in the IMF, apart from capacity development, we are, have been asked by our uh, executive board to work on what is called the Data Dissemination Initiative, which is essentially a project that started in the, in the mid-1990s, 94, 95, after the crisis in Mexico, to try to get countries to be disciplined about uh, publication. This is something else that uh, uh, Professor Kali said, and that is that you know, it is very important to put data in the spotlight and to put it under the microscope. And only when you publish the data in a disciplined way, you allow the public at large to see what you're doing, to make comparisons, and to then draw attention to deficiencies that, that may exist. This is the purpose of this, of this initiative. Uh, we, my, my department, is going to uh, make a presentation to the executive board on May 1, where we are going to be proposing a reform of this uh, initiative. And the reform, essentially, uh, is very important for Africa and other, uh, and other countries that are uh, lots of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, compilers that are lagging behind in terms of uh, dissemination. This is we're going to uh, propose a new, uh, a, a new way to uh, get countries uh, to dedicate more resources to disciplined pub uh, publications. When I say disciplined publication, what I mean is that, that countries uh, commit themselves to publish data according to an advanced release calendar. And for that, we're going to use, we're going to try to put this issue uh, in the context of the Article 4 policy dialogue. As you know, the IMF uh, has at least once a year a visit to a country where there is analysis and, and conversations about the conditions, and we want to make it part of that, uh, of, that, uh, of that conversation precisely to raise awareness among policymakers, the Minister of Finance, who is the one signing off the, the budgets, uh, that this is very important. Uh, 